Hey family, I just got off from work um, and it's Monday. I just got off from work and I wanted to do something really quick for dinner. Um, a lot of times the things that my husband likes to eat because he's an old country boy um, can, be, can be time consuming. But today I'm gonna cook a quick meal. I went to Sam's over the weekend. One of the things I purchased was a big bag of shrimp. But I also purchased um, a pack of um, fried rice. It has chicken, peas, and carrots, egg uh, in it. And I'm going to add the shrimp to it. Kind of make my own shrimp fried rice with it. So I thought I'd turn the camera on and show you what I do. Stay tuned. So with this big bag of shrimp, I'm able to... Um, I have portion control. I can decide how many shrimp I'm going to need. Um, so once I can finally get the bag open, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just take out enough for my husband and myself. Um, kind of eyeball it. Uh, it's really up to the individual how many shrimp you use. Maybe I use too much or you may need more than that. But this huge bag is $14.99 at um, Sam's. It's either $14.99 or $19.99. I can't remember. I think it's $14.99 at Sam's. So I think it's a really good deal and I get it all the time. I need to use the sink and so I'm cleaning out the dishwasher to make room for the dishes that are in the sink. We'll get those um, taken care of and then we can get to peeling the shrimp. So next order of business is peeling the shrimp. It doesn't take long. Once they've unthawed in the cold water, it's pretty simple. They've already um, been clean. I still check to make sure there's none of that black vein running up them. Most of the time they're pretty good. And then um, I just peel the shrimp. I don't leave the tails on. We don't like that. Um, and so I take those off as well. Here I am seasoning the shrimp. I, I use garlic powder. I use adobo, adobo seasoning. I use Slap Your Mama seasoning. It's a Creole seasoning that I get from Walmart. And I add a little, a few parsley flakes for color. I add a little oil, um, just a, maybe a cap full of vegetable oil because I'm out of olive oil and I don't want to use um, a, a lot of oil because it could be heavy um, so I add about a full cap full of vegetable oil and let that heat up the rice is gonna go in first and then once that's coated with the oil I will add the shrimp now these bags are pretty small so again it's portion control you use what's going to be best for your family. Um, I believe I use about three bags. I had an idea to also add sausage to the rice. So there are two sausage that I also got from Sam's and these sausage have a little kick they're not the hot sausage but they do have a little kick to them and I think cutting that up with the rice and shrimp and chicken fried rice is gonna be really good so we're gonna try that too the pan got a little hot so I took it off the eye to let it cool down but here I am adding um, the rice to the oil um, it wasn't enough. Eventually, I'm going to add a little water to it and let that steam. But I just want to keep stirring it, making sure that I coat the rice with the oil um, and a little water. You'll see me add a little water in a minute. That's the third bag, I, bag of rice. Then I'll add a little water to it and just let it steam a little bit before I add the uh, shrimp. This is also good in the wok before, I don't have my wok anymore, but before 
um, we moved into this house, I had a walk and um, it would be, it's really good um, in the wok. So added the shrimp. I've given the rice a good stir. Put the lid on so it can steam. I want the shrimp to get pink. Um, and just be mindful to go back and stir it from time to time and it'll be fine. me old school but um I don't like we don't like a lot of grease in my food and we like it to be thoroughly cooked so I always cut a few slits in the sausage when it's boiling um sometimes I will fry it in a pan and then I cut it up before it goes into the pan but when I ball it whole like that I do like to put some slits in it This was a really quick meal, but it came out really good and the flavors were popping. So I hope you try it. Before I close the video, I wanted to share with you some finds that I saw in a Dollar General the other day. I was absolutely amazed at all the home decor items that they had. I thought I was in TJ Maxx or Marshalls or somewhere like that. I hope you enjoy my little walkthrough. See you in the next video.